Greetings um, here in, in Riverside Geometry Scholars. My name is Mr. Benzel. Um, I am repping here in high school, uh, teaching geometry. This is my uh, seventh year teaching geometry now at Heron. Um, I have a sidekick, three-year-old Alice. Um, she's kind of my quarantine buddy. And this is your first uh, geometry semester two lesson. Uh, so I think it's really important that when we're taking notes, uh, that you make sure that you have a piece of paper and that you are copying down the major definitions and worked out examples on your sheet of paper. So we're going to be looking at, you know, are the definitions there? Are they complete? And do the examples have all the steps, you know, that we are kind of communicating? So please make sure that you are writing uh, your examples. All right. So quadrilaterals. Um, well, they're types of polygons, and polygons are uh, formed by three or more segments uh, that we call sides. And we are missing a um, intersection thing here. So each side intersects uh, exactly um, two other sides, and one at each endpoint. And the endpoint is what we call a vertex and I'm just gonna kind of mark my picture I'd like you to you know mark your picture too because I think it's really important to have that vocab word in action and the plural for that is vertices One thing that I would really like you to be comfortable with are uh, these three terms, especially regular polygon. Uh, so an equilateral polygon means that it's a polygon with congruent sides. Uh, so one thing that I want you to uh, be really good at is to be able to read our diagrams because uh, they tell you what is congruent and what is not necessarily congruent. Uh, so let's say that I have a equilateral polygon here. So I would mark all of these sides congruent. So this is a picture, and I would like you to include this picture in your notes. Equiangular means polygon with congruent, well guess what it, use your root words, congruent angles. So I could actually like draw kind of a similar looking shape, but maybe I don't mark the congruent sides, but I just mark the congruent angles. So we can only work off of the information that's given to us. So we can't make any conclusions about the sides unless if I mark the sides. And then a regular polygon is equilateral and equiangular. And I'll just draw um, that square looking thing again and just include also uh, the congruent angles as well. And this is what we call a regular polygon. All right. Uh, I think one of the most important theorems uh, that works for all quadrilaterals, no matter if you have a parallelogram, a kite, a rhombus, a square, a rectangle, a trapezoid, is that the sum of the four interior angles, so there are four angles in a quadrilateral, is 360 degrees. Uh, so what this means is that if you have numbers or variables on all four angles, 
you can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 equals to 360 degrees. All right, so let me kind of give you a typical quadrilateral angle sum theorem question that you may see, like on some type of mastery assessment. Uh, so we have a quadrilateral here, and let me just um, write a little bit more here. So I could say it says find x, just kind of getting in the sync of things here, and the angle measures. So what I would do here is I would add x plus x minus 20 plus 80 plus x equals to 360. Now, if you're a little rusty with combining like terms, I like to, you know, kind of just circle uh, my x's together. So I have x plus x plus x, and that makes 3x. And then I have 80 minus 20 to get me a total of 60. Subtract 60 on both sides. And, you know, it's all right, you know, take a little time and just work the steps out. Divide by 3. And we would get that x is equal to 100. Now, back in like Algebra 1 days, uh, you found x. You were done with the problem often. Uh, but if it says find the angle measures, you want to kind of take that 100 that you got. And then you know, just box that answer. So. You know, you have 100 degrees, and I would just put the measures uh, that you found. So, the x is 100. Uh, this would be 100 minus 20 to get me a total of 80. And this would be 100 also. Here's a bonus question that you may want to think about. This is a special type of quadrilateral. If we kind of notice, we have 100 and 100 here, where the opposite angles are congruent. So think about, for next time, what type of quadrilateral, in particular, uh, this quadrilateral is. So we will see next time, maybe. So make sure you got your notes copied down and are submitting them on the Google form uh, so that we can see that you have taken an active part in the note-taking process. And thank you for listening today.